Hey everyone, Chris Hall here with Basher Films in Pasadena, California, welcoming you to another episode of Anatomy of a Grade. Today we're going to take a look at what I like to call digital relighting in color correction. This is a shot from a documentary that was shot with mixed light sources. You can see there's some warm areas on the right side of the subject's face and some cooler areas on the left. You can see it's definitely a mixed lighting scenario. We're going to take this and balance everything to neutral in color correction as if it was shot with one single light source. So let's dive right in and see how we can do this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is a little bit unconventional. Instead of starting with a primary color correction, I'm actually going to isolate the skin tone on the right side of the subject's face. You can see it's very warm and orange, kind of a uh, neon peachy kind of color. So I'm going to isolate that with a little qualification here. And there's the skin tone isolated. And I'm actually going to desaturate that and bring that down into the correct range of the skin tone on the left-hand side. So this is going to involve adding a little bit of blue, desaturating slightly, and upping some of the contrast. And now we have a balanced flesh tone. Essentially, I've taken out that second light source coming from the right side and balanced it with the light source on the left, creating a smooth flesh tone that almost looks like it was lit with one light source. Now the next two steps after this is essentially to clean up some of the work that I've just done. So if you can see his hair is also a little bit warm on the top right side of his head there, as well as the collar on his shirt down in the lower right hand side, those areas also need to be color corrected and brought back to neutral. So I'm going to isolate those with secondary corrections as well, and here's what it looks like after I've brought those back. Now everything is looking like it's been lit with one light source and we're pretty evenly balanced, so we've come a long way. So now I'm going to do a primary correction and actually get things a little bit cooler, a little bit more desaturated, looking a little bit more neutral. So once I dial in that primary correction, which involves a little bit of blue in the midtones and the highlights, as well as a very, very, very slight desaturation of the image, I get something that looks like this. Now, this isn't our ideal image yet. I'm going to do some additional secondary corrections on top of this, but we're getting closer. After this primary correction, I'm going to move on and actually put a vignette on the image. This is part of that digital relighting that I was talking about at the beginning. I'm actually going to isolate his face with a circular vignette, and then I'm going to bring the background down. When I do that, I get something that looks like this. So now his face is the focal point of the frame, and the background has been brought down slightly so that your eye goes straight to the subject, which is really important, especially for documentary interviews. Now that I have this frame looking pretty good, the last step in this process is to put a little bit of color back into his skin tone. So I'm going to isolate his skin tone. Now that everything's even, it's a very easy qualification to make. And I'm going to put a little bit more flesh tone back into it with a little bit more saturation. When I do that, I get something that looks like this. And this is actually our final image. I'll show you the original image. Here it is. And now here's the final correction played back in real time. You can see we've come a long way with the shot from beginning to end. It's a completely different shot. This is a more natural kind of soft lit look that looks like it uses a single light source when actually it uses two, but it doesn't distract the viewer from the mixed lighting conditions of the original. So that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Grade. Hope you enjoyed it and be sure to check out more episodes at basherfilms.blogspot.com. Hope to see you next time.